Yeah, got a show for y'all. Got a damn good show, Keith. Got a damn good show. The view is a joke. It's like satire. No, it's not a joke. They, they, they have they have a purpose. They are an extension of the Democratic Party. They are bought and paid for. They're indoctrinating people is what they're doing. They indo- That's exactly what they're doing. They are indoctrinating the idiots yeah. of society. They are biasly teaching a set of views and beliefs. That's what they're doing. That's why they're on TV. They ain't on that for their brains. Whoopi, she got her job because she's black. <laughs> She used to keep the black vote. Yeah, she used to keep the Negro in line. It's all a purpose. They have a purpose. It's to keep society divided. Anyway, I got this. That's uh, what's going on. Yeah, that's what's that's going ex- on. That's exactly what's going on. Yeah, Am I right or wrong? Yeah. Give me an amen. That's blasphemy. What? That's blasphemy. It is? Yeah. No, I ain't blasphemy. It's biblical. Anyway, so Whoopi Goldberg's got COVID for like the third time, even though she's vaccinated. Wait you a know minute. What? I got Hold COVID. up. Let's analyze this situation. Let's vet it thoroughly. She got what? She got COVID three times after getting vaccinated? Yeah. Huh. What does that tell you about that vaccine? You know, what does that demonstrate? <laughs> I can't say it on YouTube. I remember one time I was when I was in the Marine Corps, I was forced to get the vaccine, uh, to get the flu shot. Well, that's what you signed up for. Your property. You're not a person. You're a social security. Number. Right. That, th- this is the only time I ever took the flu shot. Right. I took it. I would say within 48 hours, I was on my deathbed <laughs> with the flu. <laughs> I was like, God, if I could just make it through this, I swear <laughs> I'll never take that garbage again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I remember I took the, the first time I took the flu shot. We was in CVS. I think I was picking up a prescription. Say, hey, we're getting away free flu shots. It's a bad flu season. So well, I've never got the flu. Say, oh, you need the flu shot. You could die from it. I said, really? I said, man, you know what? Go on, give me the flu shot. Got to protect people around me too, you know. You was a lot younger though. I was a lot young. I was a lot younger, and I took that flu shot. Damn near died. But anyway, back to Whoopi. She's got the. COVID for the third time. I've had COVID three times, actually. Yeah, and I, we've never been vaccinated. Yeah. But anyway. What does that demonstrate, everybody? Yeah. So let's go to the video of The View. This, these people are such. Well, they're playing a the character. They know what they're doing. It's got a purpose behind it. Yeah. They're there. It's a script. It's a script. It's a show. Let's go to the video. Oh, Whoopi is still under the thing, the COVID, <laughs> the COVID weather. Yes, she's, this is her third bout, I believe, with it. But, you know, people write, well, she got the vaccination. How come she still gets it? Because she's not dead. She's just a little bit under the weather. <laughs> right. Okay? It, exactly. If you don't get it and you get the disease, you might die. Yeah. So that's people out there. They keep writing that on they Twitter. They don't get it. She's got it, and she's still, she's, go about, she's, you know what I mean? Go she's been vaccinated. Yeah. And before we had the vaccines, people did A die. lot of the millions and millions. This type of irrational talk drives me nuts. Okay, but pause, anyway, pause um, man. She said before the vaccine, people were dying. People's getting the vaccine, and they're still dying. <laughs> you failed to mention that. Maybe she doesn't know. How did I forget, man? This is just a script. They're, it's an old an act. Yeah. They're catering to the morons. Yeah. This is only going to resonate with a bunch of idiots. Yeah. It's going to appeal to the brainless side of society. They're implying that if Whoopi didn't get that, uh, get vaccinated, she'd be dead. How do you go about determining that? How did they come up with that? Hey, if you don't take this, if you take this vaccine, you're, you're much more less likely. You're a lot more likely not to die. How did they determine that? What did he do? Get a thousand people and all gave him COVID and only gave a handful of them the shot? No, they probably did this. They got a bunch of twins. Mm-hmm. Right. A bunch of twins? They got a bunch of twins. Yeah. <clears throat> they gave one the actual uh, vaccine. The mm-hmm. other one, they gave him a placebo. Mm-hmm. I'm thinking there's a lot of, um, there ain't no more twins left. There's just one left. You being facetious? 
No, I'm actually being dead serious. No, you ain't, man. You, 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 you see, you making a, you making a mockery of our conversation. All right. No, nah, man, you, you all about jokes today. You need to take something serious, man. I'm taking it serious. That's probably what that, you did. That's all a lie, man. I don't believe that. They have any facts to back that up? What well, studies do you got? It's all anecdotal. Hey, you know, when they first came out with the vax, right? Mm-hmm. Hey, take this. You're not going to die. You're not going to get sick. You're not going to spread it. And everybody was taking it, right? It was like, <coughs> wait a minute. Oh, you can still get sick. New studies are coming out. Yeah. You can <coughs> spread it, too. Wait a minute. He got it now. Wait a minute. Got some new studies come out. You can get sick. You can still get sick. You can still spread it, but you're less likely to die from it. <laughs> How do you go about determining that? They was wrong about all the other shit, but they're right about that. No, nah. one out of three ain't bad. <laughs> <laughs> but you got to get reboosted every six months because uh, it runs out. It expires. Yeah. Huh. Go figure. Let's let's go to the video. This is this gonna get dumber. Nuts. But anyway, um. She sent in a little video for us. Oh! Here she is. Hey, in spite of everything you've heard, and let me just make sure you all know that it's actually me. Say, it's me. Uh, I am not a burning man. I am not still in Italy. I am not, you know, doing stuff. I'm not trying to change the outcome of the election. I just, I have COVID. (laughs) I just have COVID. I'm still testing positive, apparently. Uh, I have to have a clear test before I can come back. So it might be a a couple of days. But, you know, I'm really thrilled to see the beautiful new desk. I'm really thrilled to see all the beautiful women. You You girls look great. And, uh, you know, I can't wait to get back and hang out. But until then, it's me and my mask. And I'm sort of confined <laughs> to my room. I have never been sent to my room like this in my, in my, at this age. Well, but I've been confined COVID, so. to my room. But I just wanted to say hi and let everybody know that. Uh, Cut off. I'm tired of looking at I'll it. be there as soon as I just hope you the- make it. <laughs> <laughs> she at home got COVID and she's wearing a mask. Ain't nobody in there. She says she's confined to the room, but she's in there wearing a mask. Yeah. Because they're indoctrinating people. That's what they're doing, man. And this they're is, conditioning people to think like this. Yeah. They're instilling the idea in their mind. That's what they're doing. Yeah. It's just it's all propaganda. Okay, so this is protocol for people that's like Democrats. This is what you're supposed to do. Confine yourself, wear a mask, mm-hmm. all that stuff. If right? you don't, you're a far-right extremist. Right. That's why she's uh this is why she's doing what she's doing. That's why she's uh conditioning people. Right. So, but this is her third time having COVID. And she said, Mm -hmm. I've never been confined to my room like this. Hmm. She's trying to keep track of her lies. Yeah, she she went off script trying to tell a little joke. Yeah. Told on herself. Put a foot in her mouth. Put that big black crusty foot in her mouth. (laughs) That's what she did. Exactly what she did. All that damn toe jam and all them damn. All that damn uh, Whoopi Goldberg jam in between them toes. (laughs) (laughs) These people are. Yeah. I but you know what? what? Me and you are very intelligent. See, we pick up on you. Yeah. See the, the, That's right. I'm, see te- the, I'm, the, the, I'm the, intelligent. You intelligent, man. Yeah. But me and you smart, man. Yeah, we smart. Yeah, man. yeah, we smart, man. Yeah, we 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 We're some intellectuals, man. Yeah. Yeah, you know, see, see this shit don't fly with us. Now with the common man, the typical the the average human being Democrat voter. <laughs> That's not average. Yeah. What's the word I'm looking for? Stewage. What? Stewage. Stewage. I learned that word watching the Titanic. The Titanic. And that dude said that? I'm not going down there with the rest of the stewage. <laughs> <laughs> nice, sophisticated white word. Yeah, man, people. I can't believe y'all at this point, at this point in the game, y'all still implying that that vaccine. Yeah. It's like, actually. You was, you was wrong about it. Keep you from getting sick. You was wrong about it. When it comes to spreading it, but you say you're still right about, hey, it's going to increase the likelihood, the probability of you passing away, unliven yourself. Unliven what? Unliven yourself. What is that? I don't know. I came up with it on the fly. Unliven yourself instead of saying death or dying. You know, use a euphemism. Sound like Whoopi Goldberg. 
You ain't never heard that? Unalive in yourself? Yeah, from stupid people. Illiterate. I heard it from a Negro. I thought it was cool what you said. You go, unalive yourself. I'll throw that one out there. I'll throw that one out. I won't use that one again. I'll stick to my white, sophisticated words. Die. What? That's a white person's word, die. No. No, unalive it instead of saying dying. Suck it. Hey, we got a new giveaway going. <laughs> we give it away a Ram Diesel 2500. Did you tell me to suck it? At $10,000 <laughs> in cold hard cash, we even throw a tranny in there. And $10,000 in cold hard cash to end That's the win. That's what kind of tranny? A Cummins tranny. Yeah, you didn't tell him that. To end of the they win. think you threw a damn tranny in the truck. <laughs> <laughs> to end of the way, go to officialhawkstwins.com. Anything you buy from the site, get you automatically in it to win. Cut this shit off.